Fella! Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs, Elite Series 58, Sheamus and Cesaro. I do want to take a look at Cesaro first. Sheamus, I don't know, man. If you had a smile on your face, maybe I would consider it right here. Cesaro, this is one of the best... Yes, actually, as of currently right now, one of the best tag teams on Raw, I think. What's going to happen at WrestleMania, though? Still a lot of questions, right? Because as of right now, we technically only have one contender. There he is. He's like, I'm going to retain those tag team titles. Will they? Drop it in the comment section. Do you guys want to see the bar retain the tag team titles at WrestleMania? I mean, if they're going up against Braun, I mean, we don't have an answer yet as to who's going to be his tag team partner. But I think just them going up against Braun, I don't know, man. It definitely raises a lot of questions as, as to whether or not they'll retain the titles, right? Right here, other figures available in the series. Speaking of Braun, look at that. You got Braun Strowman over here, Seamus Cesaro, Mickey James, Matt Hardy, and Dean Ambrose, right? That look, man. This look, I like that clean look. The nice business suits with, uh, what would you call those, kilts? I think that, yeah, I think they're called kilts. They're not skirts. They, I mean, they are very similar to skirts, but the proper name is a kilt right there. There's the rising sun right behind it, right? This is actually, I don't know if you guys know, but the pose that they do when they uh, combine their two to, uh, index fingers that's kind of like you'd have to be a Dragon Ball Z fan to actually truly know the story behind that right you gotta be yeah you gotta I don't, I don't know if a lot of you guys are into DBZ it's an old cartoon actually it's not even old they, they are still putting out episodes, but for me, like, that was one of the series when I would come home, I would heat up some ramen noodles and turn on some DBZ, right? <laughs> Alright, so here it is, man. Here is the nice business suit, and it does, like, one thing I was pointing out when we did the unboxing, it does have uh, slits right here and by the... Right by the sleeve area. It's good. I mean, in a way, it's good, right? So you can get more articulation while he's wearing the suit. But I don't know. It doesn't look right. I mean, yeah, I know that, like, that's part of the design to it and how he actually wears it in life. But it's not that noticeable. The reason why he does that is because he wants to make sure that it can come right off so he's ready for that in-ring competition, right? So right there, we get a nice, yeah, it's like a nice gold. Uh, and then also right here on the pocket, so really not much paint, um, like, designs to this. On the kilt, though, I am noticing, like, a texture design to the actual kilt itself. Um, the back, yes, very simple, very bland, and it does come off really easy. I mean, right there, you just, you do that, and it comes right off, right? So, again, if you're into doing all those, like, uh, pig feds or stop motion, this is going to be awesome for, like, a nice entrance. The one thing I didn't know, and I literally just found this out, but... Right here, um, when you he actually has the taping, and it's it's good because I, I have noticed that's one thing I've noticed about uh, Cesaro as of late. He has been doing a lot of taping on his shoulder, so it looks like he never really recovered from that shoulder injury. Right? That's cool, man. That's definitely like good job, Mattel. That's like really them going out of their way to making sure that they're capturing that accuracy of what he wears night in and night out. Right? The attire right here, yes, the gold does continue on the trunks, getting some great line work. I mean, mine is looking nice and clean i don't see any issues with the paint quality right there it says cesaro with a nice lightning bolt right underneath the boots right here so what they did they did do the low boot cut design but they did add this nice little uh, extra piece to it it is um it's not removable but you can slide it up and down on it you see how it's like it's it's not actually a tall boot it's actually like a two-piece right here again the nice long knee pads it's good that he decided to add knee pads you know later on in the career because i know when he first started man the guy was uh, yeah he did he came out it was it was a knee pads they were more like uh quad straps i don't know why he wore those i mean it's not like you're getting any protection but if you're a wrestler man i'm telling you you need those knee pads especially the moves that he does right here sheamus right there he is man he's i don't know he's i don't know if it's an if he's upset or what on the side of the box he's happy he's like thanks man thank you fella for finally reviewing me <laughs> so again matching attires but on his um one thing you will notice is that we are getting different paint apps on the actual entrance um Suit, uh, there you go, suit, suit's the right word, it's not a shirt, it's definitely a nice uh, 007 GoldenEye style, if you guys aren't familiar with GoldenEye, man, it, that game was sick for N64, oh man, I used to play that for hours on that, there's the rest of the rising sun, so when you combine them together, it does that DBC thing, right, that Dragon Ball Z style, so I don't know, I'm not gonna call it like a knockoff from, you know, what DBZ's doing, but that's, I'm pretty sure that's where they got it from, right, it was a team, they were a team, um, 
Not these two, but on Dragon Ball Z. I'm going to tell you a little story about it. Yeah, they were a team. They were pretty dominant, too, in the show. Um, I wish uh, someone, someone that's a Dragon Ball Z fan dropped the name of the two characters that would do that. Because the life of me, I mean, it's been a while. I used to be crazy into DBZ, but I kind of stepped away from it. Because wrestling has been my thing as of late, for sure. Right here, right there. You see how it's white and for Cesaro, it's black. And right there, we're getting the gold as opposed to the black. So the suit designs, yes, they're almost, again, almost very similar. Um, it's mainly like the inside shirt that you're noticing, like, as far as difference right here. The kilts, yes, the kilts are also the same. Where's that kilt? I lost that kilt. <laughs> it's behind the box. But it is the exact same one that we're getting with Cesaro. Oh, jeez. It's over here. Sorry, guys. Right there. See how um, we're getting the nice uh, texture design to it? It's really, I don't know, it's cool that they went out of their way. I mean, they could have just done with uh, without it since it is just a black kilt. That's the one thing I do like, too. Like, the belt straps and the buckles. I'm pretty sure Cesaro also has it. And he also has the same slits right there by the armpit area. So let's take this off and get a closer look at uh, uh, Seamus. Um, the head scan right here, so it's cool. Because, I mean, yes, we got the mohawk look. We got the big beard look, right? And one of his uh, fairly recent figures. But the thing is, is that... That one, uh, well, at least, no, take that back. The most recent battle pack did get rid of that little extra thing that he had on the tip. But it's nice. I mean, I, did, I missed out on that battle pack. So it's nice that we have this here in elite form. Right there, the buckles, yes, they're identical. Pretty much the exact same thing. Except that instead of being on Cesaro, it's on Sheamus, right? It's been a while. Gosh, how long has it been? Uh, since we've gotten to Cesaro, it's been at least, I don't know, eight, nine, maybe ten waves. It's been a good while, so it's nice that we're getting a Cesaro Elite. Something modern, something current. I mean, he really has kept the same style look for his trunks and knee pads, but still, great set, man. It looks like, yeah, it's a snake right there. Yep, you see the snake. The snake is not only in the trunks, but also on the knee pads. On the back, it's got his uh, Celtic cross. So pretty sweet. The kick pads, actually, even on the kick pads too, getting some great line work right there. And the cross is also on the back right there. The head scan, I do like it. Um, I mean, it looks, I don't know, maybe maybe it'll take time. Because I know that the previous one, man, that one was really good. I don't know how they captured the head scan better on that one than they did on this one. But I still like it. I would rank this like maybe like an 8 out of 10. Great set. I mean, it's definitely nice to have the, the Raw Tag Team Champions, right, in elite form. Uh, one thing that I do hope that... um. If we ever get an accessory pack, I hope that we get, like, the updated, like, green look that they got. Not that we'll get one. I mean, it's been... What was it? I, I don't think we've ever gotten, like, a clothing accessory pack. There you go, Bill. There's an idea of Mattel, whoever... If you guys are watching this, that, that's a great... I don't know. I would buy it, right? Until next time, everybody.